Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. And I mean, uh, yeah, with with which with what you guys have accomplished, like a ghost gunner, and obviously, um, I guess the the three D the three D printed gun. I think you've said this before. It was more kind of showing that this is possible. Um, you know, this is possible when the technology gets better. You know, I mean, gun control is already dead, but you know, when the technology gets better <laughs> and you can actually you know three D print you know full ARs and stuff, like it's going to be a problem and uh, for for a lot of folks. I love it. You said it the way I said it. Like this is going to be a problem. Now I don't. Do I believe that three D printing one day will be a, a complete set of technologies where you'll just literally 3d printed like an ar-15 or something at home no not really i'm not committed to that and i've certainly seen the limitations of the technology over the years but some some set of technologies for digital fabrication we all know that that's what's up and it's all computer aided design computer aided manufacture we all understand that that's how it's going to be so when you're able to take a 3d printer that like people in 2013 and stuff man they didn't know what that was they never heard of that shit. and the first time they see that they hear i can make a gun on this <laughs> you know that does something that does something to their relationship to technology and their relationship to, to liberalism, really, which tells them that the progress of technology is always the progress of morality or the progress of society. When you see a technology begin to do something that it wasn't destined to do, it, it doesn't matter to me that this prophecy about, oh, well, one day you can 3D print an AR-15. All I have to do is say that because your religious belief in, in technology itself, your technical relationship in, in society, takes you the rest of the way the nightmare scenario is already complete in your mind it i don't have to be right about the future of 3d printing the disaster happened in that mere demonstration i think it's just yeah. a, a more ridiculous yeah, way of saying more eloquent way of say. saying what i said yeah <laughs> <laughs> very much more eloquent you forget, but it's, yeah. it's all it's all happening philosophically it's all happening like uh in communicative strategic terms like i'm telling you that uh oh sorry your religion's wrong <laughs> You know, like, your God is false. <laughs> you know, like, that's what's happening there. And the rest of it, that's all, it's all props. And the Liberator is an excellent example of that. It, it, it was a toy gun, right? It's a prop gun. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's funny just to watch. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, all of the freaking out over, uh, it, I mean, again, it was, I, I kind of view it as more of, a, more of a philosophical thing, but just to watch, you know, the leftists go insane, like, oh my gosh, people are going to ship schools with this, go, they're going to, you know, bring a, bring bring one on a plane and, you know, just, you know, you know mass murder a bunch of people. It's like, you don't understand how this thing works, do you? Um, <laughs> but good that they don't. You're right. Because if they did, there's nothing there. Right. We rely upon, yes, they have sincere feeling, but we rely upon their sincere ignorance. Their, their relationship to their government, to the society, to the law, and to technology is as an infant to, to his, his parents or something, right? Like, they don't know. They, they know less about, uh, you know, like, there's these examples of when there were these, uh, these rounds of eclipses last year. Or you remember the big eclipse that, like, went all, like, nationwide? It was, like, the, I forget what they was called it. The blood it. moon or was it? It was, like, that complete eclipse. It was, like, that total eclipse that went across the nation. You know, there were these stories nationwide of people putting, like, sunscreen in their eyes. Okay, like there are <laughs> that the average man like is more profoundly ignorant about his relation, like about what his institutions and his technologies, about what they are and about how they work than a man, than the average man of a couple hundred years ago. Right. Like you live in a more mystical and religious relationship to your institutions and, and, and your technologies than men before you. And this can be a part of you of the libertarian the digital libertarians activism uh i use their ignorance against them basically no I, well sure yeah use it <laughs> against them yeah but i mean just just use it <laughs> yeah, just use it 